so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi. Coming up, we're going to meet flamingos and some special animals called ambassador animals. Let's check them out. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And look at where I'm at today. Today, I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Have you ever been to a zoo? Yeah, they're so great. You can see big animals, small animals, even insects if you want. Yeah, I am so excited. Let's go. Whoa, we're in the back of a habitat. This is so cool. Whoa, look at this. Ooh, looks like some animal snacks. Yum. Okay, I'll put that down right there. Wow, and this is this animal's real food. Yeah, this is what they eat on the daily. Hey, check it out. See this right here? Yeah, you just put some powder in right there, swirl it around, and this is what this animal loves to eat every day. Okay, let me put this back right here. But hey, did you see what we saw right here? Whoa, looks like a feather. This must come from the animal that's in this habitat. Hmm, yeah, feather. Birds have feathers. And do you see? It's the color pink. Whoa, do you know what animal, bird, is the color pink? Yeah, flamingos. Okay, let me set this down right here. <laughs> and then let's grab the snacks. Let's go see if we can find the flamingos. Oh, hey, it's John. Hey. Oh, hi, Blippi. How are you? Good. Welcome to our flamingo exhibit. Thank you. What are you doing? I'm um, just raking up the feathers. Oh. And these are our flamingos. Oh, do you see the flamingos? Wow. Do you mind if I get a closer look at them? No, go ahead. All right. Oh, hey, let's take a closer look at the flamingos. Oh. Hello, flamingos. Hey. Wow, these flamingos are so pretty. Whoa, did you know that when flamingos are born, they're the color white? Yeah, gray, yeah, whitish gray. And then when they get older, they turn the color pink because the food that they eat has a lot of pink in it. Whoa, that is so cool. And you see how tall their legs are? Whoa, they're so long. An adult flamingo, the legs are taller than the whole rest of the body. Wow, that is so crazy. Hey, and do you see how their legs are bending backwards? Yeah, us humans, our legs bend forward. But then, flamingos, their legs bend backwards. And you're probably like, whoa, those are some flexible knees. <laughs> But hey, let me tell you a really cool fact. Do you see that little area right in the center of their legs? Yeah, it looks like their knee. That is actually the flamingo's ankle. Whoa, that's crazy. Well, hey, I think we should throw some of these snacks in the water and see if the flamingos come. Okay. <laughs> All right, here you go. It's the Animal Ambassador Show. Whoa, another great animal. This place is awesome. Hey, what's your name? I'm Susie. Oh, nice to meet you. And who is this? This is Harry. And Harry is a striped skunk. Wow, striped skunk. Yeah, I see black and white. Why are they striped like that? Well, those stripes allow them to alert any predators in the area that he is a skunk, and if they've been around a skunk before, they definitely would not want to get sprayed again. Oh, yeah. Wait, you said spray. Is that the smell that you sometimes smell when you're driving? You've got it, yeah. It's a really strong smell, and you can't mistake it if you've smelled it before, and you definitely can't mistake it if you've been sprayed. <laughs> yeah. So why do they spray again? 
It's their way of defending themselves. So if a skunk feels threatened, the first thing that Harry might do is do some forward charges or some handstands. And that says, hey, don't mess with me. More bad things are coming. And if the animal proceeds to come forward, they might get sprayed. Oh, so it sounds like Harry's a gym gymnast with its handstands. <laughs> That's funny. What's Harry eating? Today he is eating insects. He loves bugs, he loves vegetables, fruit, he even eats meat too. Wow, Harry is so cool. I love skunks. <laughs>is Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Whoa. Eduardo is a three-banded armadillo. Whoa. And it looks like he's eating some insects. Those look so yummy for him. <laughs> I actually got permission to go inside, but he's actually probably going to think my shoes are really cool because they smell. So let me go inside and see if he is curious. Hello. Hey. How are you? Whoa, do you see him? Whoa, he has a very hard shell. Yeah. Three banded armadillos are ones that can go all the way in a ball. But he's not doing that right now because that is a defensive mechanism. Yeah, he's actually really comfortable right now. <laughs> hey! Do you see how he's just sniffing around? Oh, he is so cute! And his fingernails are so long, or toenails, and he has some cute little hairs coming out the bottom. <laughs> Whoa, look at him go! Whoa, check it out! Look, this is a hawk! But wait a second, who are you? My name is Lindsay. I am an ambassador animal keeper. Wow, what, what's the name of this hawk? This is Cisco. He is a 32-year-old Harris's hawk. Wow, Cisco is so pretty. Wow, I love the wings. Does it have big wings or thin or small? Or? He has big, broad wings that are good for soaring, but not very good for diving fast. Oh, wow. Do they live together or alone? Harris's hawks are very special because they live in family groups with other hawks. Most birds of prey live by themselves. Oh, wow. And I like Cisco's eyes. What's unique about them? Harris's hawks and other birds of prey have really great eyesight. That is so cool. And I like its beak. Look at it. It's like, it looks so sharp. Can I take a closer look at it? Sure. Whoa. Check out Cisco. Wow. Whoa. So majestic. Wow. Hey, Cisco. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow, another amazing animal. Whoa, this is a burrowing owl. Whoa, what's his name? This is Papu. Oh, nice to meet you, Papu. I'm Flippy. Do you see Papu's eyes? They're so big and yellow. Wow, does that mean they can see good? Owls have excellent eyesight. Wow. And Papu is so small. Is it a little baby? No, Papu is full grown. Whoa. Is it like other owls where they go out at night and look for food? So other owls are nocturnal, which means they're awake at night. But Papu is diurnal. He's awake during the day. Whoa. That is so cool. Papu is so cute. Wow, I just want to pet him. He's so cute, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Can I take a closer look? Sure. Wow, check it out. This is Anahi. Yeah, she is so pretty. Wow. Do you see her tongue poking out? Yeah, she pushes her tongue out of her mouth every now and then to smell. Isn't that crazy? We use our nose to smell, but she uses her tongue to smell. Yeah, and she is a red-tailed boa constrictor. Whoa, 
Look at her just wrapped up in a tree like this, all comfortable. Whoa! Hello! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I hope she is having a great day! Whoa, she is so big! Right now, she is about seven feet tall. Yeah, that's about 2.3 meters long. Whoa, but she actually gets a lot bigger. She'll even get bigger than this. Whoa, yeah! She can get about 12 feet tall. That's about four meters long. Whoa, that is so cool! <laughs> Wow, check it out. This is blue, and blue is a blue tongued skink. Whoa. She looks like a snake, doesn't she? Yeah, a snake with legs. <laughs> but she's not. She's actually a lizard. Whoa, she is so cool looking. Whoa, do you see her tongue? Yeah, it's the color blue. That makes sense. I bet predators think that that tongue could be poisonous. Yeah. Whoa, and do you see her ears? Wow, I bet she can hear really good. <laughs> Whoa, jeez, how are you? Are you having a good day? <laughs> Whoa. Wow, look, this is Tut and this is Cairo. Whoa, look at them, hey! They are Egyptian tortoises. Yeah, when I hear tortoise, I think of a big turtle. But these are actually full size. Whoa, where are you two going? I wonder if they're hungry. <laughs> they actually live in the desert. Yeah, whoa, that makes sense because Egyptian tortoises. Whoa, look, they're following each other. Whoa, that looks fun. <laughs> Hasn't this been so much fun at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington today? Yeah, I had a lot of fun seeing all these great animals. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Whoa, what a great animal. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I. P-P-I, Flippy, good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy, and today we'll be meeting some amazing sea creatures. This is going to be awesome. Let's check them out. So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and look at where I'm at! Yeah, I'm at a marina! Yeah, marinas are a body of water where a bunch of boats live! Oh, <laughs> so cool! But hey, check this out! Wow! Today, we're at the Marine Life Center in Bellingham, Washington, and you and I are gonna learn a lot about some cool creatures and fish. Yeah, I love fish. Woohoo, let's go! Whoa. Oh, hey, who are you? Hi, my name's Casey. Oh, who are you? Nice to meet you, Casey. I'm Flippy. What are you doing? I'm painting a picture of some of my ocean friends on the ceiling here. Wow, are those sharks right there? They sure are, they're dog sharks. Oh, that's cool. Well, it's a very good painting, but hey, do you mind if I go explore the marine life center? Please do. <laughs> wow, check this place out. Wow, this is gonna be so much fun learning about marine life. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, do you see that? That is a skate. Yeah, it's hard to see because it blends in so good with the rocks surrounding it. Yeah, 
just like how I kind of blend in with this creature right here, because we're both the color orange, the skate blends in with the rocks, and that is called camouflage. Whoa! Yeah, that helps keep it safe from its predators. Whoa! Whoa! Check out this tank! <laughs> Looks like there's some cute fish in there. Hello! Hey! Wow! They're just swimming around, and they look like they are having fun! Oh, what else is in here? Oh, looks like some seaweed and some rocks. Yeah, Casey says there's actually an eel in here. Whoa, and she's going to come feed it. Yeah. Hey, Blippi, did you find the wolf eel? She's hiding inside of her den. Sometimes, if she's hungry, she'll come out and say hello. It looks like she has a grumpy face, but she's actually my friend. Sometimes she likes belly rubs and treats. Her favorite is shrimp. Let's see if we can get her to eat. Wow! Such cool animals in here. I love all these creatures. Whoa! Check it out. Wow! Inside this tote, there is a kelp crab. Whoa! Do you see him? Whoa! Look at him. Here, let me move this piece of kelp. Whoa, there he is! Whoa, the cool thing about this kelp crab, yeah, is it's camouflage. Yeah, he camouflages by eating things. If he starts to eat things that are light brown, then he starts to turn light brown himself. Or if he eats things that are dark brown, like this piece of kelp, then he blends in to that dark brown piece of kelp. Whoa, so cool! Oh, look, a shrimp! Hello, shrimp. You are so cute. You want to be pet? Yep, there you go. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Oh, it is so cute. Hey, speaking of shrimp, check this out. Whoa, doesn't that look like a shrimp? Yeah, it looks like the shell of the shrimp. Wow. Yeah, shrimp and crab, they do what's called molt. Yeah, that's where the outside of them, their shell, yeah, comes off of them. And this, whoa, <laughs> this is just a shrimp shell because it came off the shrimp. <laughs> oh, look at these critters. Wow, these are both hermit crabs. Whoa, yeah, they're crabs that are inside shells. Whoa, check out what happens when I pick it up. It's going to go inside the shell. All right. Whoa, did you see that? Whoa, yeah, it used to be outside the shell, but now it's inside the shell to protect itself. Okay, I'm gonna gently put it back right there. Whoa, look at this tank. Looks like there's some crabs in here, some fish. There's a lot of cool things in here, a lot of seaweed. Oh, do you see all those fish down there? Hello, fish! Hey! Are you hungry? Yeah! Hey, check it out. Looks like I have some yummy food for these fish. Yeah, this is actually nutrient-dense food for the fish. Yeah, it's just like you and I eating vegetables, basically. <laughs> really good for us. All right, here you go, fish. All right, all right. all of these shells. They are so pretty. This one is so big. Look at it. Whoa. It's almost as big as my hand. Wow. Okay. Whoa. And this one is so shiny. Wow. Oh. And this one is so pokey. <laughs> wow. Oh. Here's another pokey one. But those are little teeny pokes. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Oh, hey, what's this doing here? Look, it's a stuffed animal. And this stuffed animal is a stingray. Wee, wee. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we explore this area and see if we can find any more stuffed animals? <laughs> oh, check it out. A giant sea turtle. Whoa, 
Sea turtles are so cool. They're so graceful just swimming in the water. Flapping, flapping, flapping. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We have two salmon. Whoa, looks like one is spawning and the other one is not. Whoa, look at salmon go. Wow, salmon are some cool fish. They get so big. Yeah, these would be small salmon in the wild. Okay, let me set them right over here so they don't fall in there. Whoa, a giant sea lion. Well, this one would be really teeny, but sea lions get so big and they make the sound ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> That is so silly. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> okay, let's put you back right there. Whoa, you found another one. Wow, a giant clam. Look, it's like a hard shell. Yeah. Whoa, look, it opened up. And do you see what's inside? Yeah, we found a pearl. Whoa, that is so pretty. Whoa, so shiny. <laughs> I actually heard pearls get created from irritation. I think that's true. Whoa, look down here. Whoa, another shell. Yeah, this is a hermit crab. Yeah, check it out. See a crab? And then it actually goes inside its shell for protection, see? Yeah, it goes like this on the ground. Then it opens up, Boop. and then it crawls around, and then it goes inside. <laughs> okay, we'll keep you right there. Here you go. <laughs> Whoa, another one. Yeah, this is a fish. And do you see how flat it is? Yeah, it lays down flat. Its two eyes are on top of its body. Yeah, and it just hangs out on the bottom of the seafloor. And this is a halibut. And halibuts can get so big. Yeah, this one would be a small one. <laughs> Whoa, this is so cute. <laughs> Do you know what kind of animal this is? Yay! Yay! Yeah, that's a hint. Yeah, this is a seahorse. Yeah, it looks kind of like a horse, huh? Oh, cute swirly little tail. And look at what it has. Right in its little pouch. Little baby seahorses. Hey, wow, you're so colorful. Whoa. Okay, okay, let's see. Whoa, a couple more. Yeah, check this out. A killer whale. Yeah, an orca. Wow, they are so cute. Wow, an octopus. Octopuses are so smart. Yeah, and they have eight long tentacles. Woo! With suckers on the bottom to hold on to things. Okay, there you go. Oh, oh, looks like we have some whales right here. Oh, whales can get so big. They get massive and they breathe air. They go and then suck in air, and they can go underwater and stay underwater for so long. Oh, hey, look, a beluga whale. Wow, it's so bright and white. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like snow. Yeah, beluga whales actually love to be in really cold, frigid water. And by golly, we have a lot of crabs in here today. Yeah, we do. 
There are so many of them. What kind of crabs are these? These are called graceful or slender crabs, and they look a lot wow. like a Dungeness crab. Have yeah. you ever seen a Dungeness before? Yeah, aren't they a little bigger than that? They sure are. Yeah. These are almost fully grown. Whoa, can we take one out and see it a little closer? Even better, we could probably take two and figure out which one's a boy and which one's a girl. Okay, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> we just got two crabs in here. All right, okay, how do you tell if it's a boy or a girl on these? Oh, well, that's a great question. I get that a lot. So I like to start with the female crab, the girl crab, and we look at her belly, we flip her over gently on her back, she kind of calms down, and we look for a very wide triangle shape here compared to the boy. And that's because she's gonna have eggs inside her tummy there, and she needs extra room. The boy doesn't need that much room. Okay. So that one is a girl and that one is a boy? You got it, Flippy. Whoa, check it out. Wow, that is really cool. And I like acting like a crab. Wow, wasn't that so much fun learning about marine life together? Yeah, that was awesome. Seeing those cute fish and all those creatures. Wow, it's crazy how they live under the water and you and I live on the land. Yeah, it's really important for you and I to help keep the water nice and clean. Yeah, well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Blippi. Good job. All right, well, <laughs> I'm going to keep learning. It's me, Blippi, and that was really fun riding a bike with you. Whew, I was riding really fast, because <laughs> I was so excited to see you today. But you know, sometimes I ride really slow when I'm really tired. <laughs> hey, can you think of any animals or things that go really fast? <laughs> I like that. I think I can think of some too, come on. Whoa! <laughs> You could be really fast, like a rocket ship. <laughs> or like a horse. Ooh. <laughs> that was pretty silly being a horse. Can you think of anything that goes really slow? <laughs> okay, let's keep thinking. Whoa. You know what goes really slow? A Ferris wheel. Ooh. <laughs> and a snail. How do you know if something moves really fast or really slow? Hmm. Oh, I know, you time it. Yeah, you use a clock to see how long it takes for something to happen. And I know the perfect place for you and I to figure out how things go really fast and really slow. <laughs> This is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. I'll see you there. I'll race ya. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. Whoa, and look at that. It's a really big ropes course. <laughs> yeah. Well, I am so excited because today at Nona Adventure Park in Orlando, Florida, you and I get to go to the very top. Yeah! This is gonna be so much fun! Come on! Before we start the ropes course, I think it's a really good idea to learn about all the right equipment to use and to get in a little practice. This right here, this is the harness. And it's really important to put the harness on. So if you're doing the ropes course and you fall off, the harness will get you. Woo, <laughs> that'll be fun. Okay, so we'll put this harness on, kind of like a belt. Put in our left leg, woo, and then our right leg. And do the harness dance. 
<laughs> yeah, good job. And now you just tighten the harness like this, just like a belt. Now, the next part of safety equipment we don't want to forget about are the clips. The clips are going to help us clip onto the ropes. Yeah. So we'll take this loop and we'll put it through the clips. <laughs> yeah. And now we're all ready to start practicing. <laughs> hey, I think it's time to go on the ropes course. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. That's pretty high up. Maybe it's a better idea to start off with something a little lower to the ground first. And then we'll do that next. Come on. Whoa. Look at this place. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Look at all these cool stools <laughs> and ropes. Yeah. They're all different colors. Do you know what colors all these ropes are? Yeah. This is the color red. We have the color black, ooh, <laughs> and this one's one of my favorite, the color blue, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, all of these different obstacles that I'm gonna have to walk on look a little bit wobbly. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> that's okay. You and I can use all of our balance to stay nice and upright so we won't fall. <laughs> okay, we're all ready to go on the ropes course, <laughs> yeah. This one has a bunch of fossils for feet, for little steps to step on. <laughs> Boing, woo, wee, woo. <laughs> Whoa, this one's really bouncy. Let's keep going, come on. is so much fun. Hey, I think we've done such a good job that we can try the one all the way at the top. Let's go. This is gonna be so much fun. Wow, that was really tiring, but I'm excited for another one. Oh, hey, look, it's my really good friend. Hey, Jake. Hi, Blippi. Did you know that Jake is a pro athlete? Yeah. <laughs> He's really good at all kinds of sports and really cool things like ropes courses. <laughs> yeah. So is it really hard being a pro athlete? It is, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> That's cool. I bet you have to eat a lot of really healthy, yummy vegetables. <laughs> vegetables are important. One of my favorite foods is Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Ooh, one of my favorite foods is broccoli, <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you have a favorite food that you like to eat? <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty yummy food. <laughs> hmm. Well, this has been really fun doing this first rubs course, but I think I'm ready to try the one way up there. Whoa. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. I got a timer, we can time it if you want. Yeah, that's a great idea. How about Jake and I? time doing the ropes course and see who wins. It'll be a blippy competition. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so who should go first? Why don't you go for it? Okay, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go first while Jake times me and then he'll go next. Come on.
I did it. That was so much fun. That was really fast. That was awesome. Whoa, it was really tricky up there, clipping into all the different parts, and it took a lot of balance. <laughs> it was so much fun, I almost made a full circle. Well, actually, this ropes course is not a circle because it has six sides. Hey, do you know what a six-sided shape is called? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's called a hexagon. Woo! <laughs> well, that was really fun, but Jake, I think it's your time to go up to the top. All right, here's the timer. Okay, I got the timer. On your mark, get set, and go! <laughs> I can't wait to see how fast Jake can do the ropes course. be because you're a pro athlete and practice a lot. <laughs> Great job, you're the winner. <laughs> yeah. Bye Jake. See you Blippi. Woo. <laughs> hey. I have a really good idea. How about you and I race? Okay, get the time on the clock started. Let's race. Hello! <laughs> Over here! Woo! <laughs> I'm up here! Hello! <laughs> Looks like you found me! Okay, here we go! Down the slide! Woo! Looks like you beat me. <laughs> that was really fun. <laughs> Good job racing with me. Whoa, look over here. Hey, you see what it says? Curiosity Corner. <laughs> it looks like it's time for the Curiosity Corner. <laughs> yeah, I am so excited because these are so much fun. I can't wait to find out what we're going to build together. Oh, look at the clock. Hey, I bet you and I get to build a clock today. <laughs> yeah, let's get started. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> look, we're here at the Curiosity Corner. <laughs> and it looks like we're gonna make an awesome clock. <laughs> okay, well first, what do we need to make a clock? Hmm, oh, I know, a circle. Whoa, it looks like this paper plate is gonna be a great circle. Okay, and we're gonna need a pen because clocks have numbers. Yeah, hmm. 12 numbers. So first, we wanna put the numbers down. And a good way to write down the numbers so they're all in the right space is to start at the top. The top of a clock has the number 12. <laughs> hmm. The bottom of the clock has the number six. <laughs> And then, to the right of the clock, we add the number 
three. And to the left of the clock, we have the number nine. <laughs> well, there's a couple more numbers on a clock, so I'm gonna fill in the rest. We have all the numbers of the clock. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. But I think our clock is still missing some things. Hmm. We have the numbers, but what points to the numbers? Oh yeah, hands. <laughs> hands. A clock has two hands, and we have some really cool paper here. My favorite colors, orange and blue. And all you need to do is cut out little arrows. Okay. You take our little arrows, we're gonna put them on the clock. Then we just pin them in. Now that we've finished our clock, let's see if we can tell some time. Hmm. Well, we have our big hand and our little hand. What does three o'clock look like? Yeah, just like that. A little hand is on the three. Hmm, what does six o'clock look like? The little hand? We move that again, and it's on the six. Hmm, I wonder what nine o'clock looks like. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what nine o'clock looks like. A little hand is on the nine, big hand is on the 12. <laughs> that was so much fun telling time with you. <laughs> Yay! Hello! <laughs> Whoa! These circles are the same shape as a clock. And that gave me a really good idea. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Whoa! I think you and I should do a really fun dance. <laughs> Just like a clock. We'll use the tick-tock of the clock for a really cool beat and the hands of a clock, woo, <laughs> for some sweet dance moves. <laughs> yeah! Okay, step one. We're gonna make our hands like this. Three o'clock, we'll move them to six o'clock, then back to three o'clock, and then to nine o'clock. <laughs> and step number two is have lots of fun and be really silly. <laughs> I'm so excited to dance together. Let's go. <laughs> What time is it? Three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, midnight, cuckoo, midnight, cuckoo, midnight, cuckoo. Double time. Tickety tickety tock, moving around the clock. Tickety tickety tock, doing the tick tock rock. Tickety tickety tock, moving around the clock. Tickety tickety tock, doing the tick tock rock. <laughs> I had so much fun with you today. <laughs> we learned about all kinds of things, like going slow means it will take a really long time, and going fast won't take much time at all. <laughs> it was also really fun learning about time and clocks, and that clocks have two hands and 12 numbers. <laughs> yeah! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you real soon. I'm going to go play in the ball pit. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Bye-bye! <laughs> Hello, friends. It's me, Blippi. Today we're visiting animals. Ready to meet some friends at the zoo? Come on! So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and today I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Hey, check it out. This is the zoo information area. Yeah, it has a map of the zoo. Hmm. I wonder what animals we're gonna see today at the zoo. Oh, maybe we'll see 
Ooh, a grizzly bear. That would be so cool. Or, um, oh, they have gorillas here too. Oh, and they have so many different kinds of animals, like flamingos. Wow. Oh, whoa, look at this tall animal. This is a giraffe. That is such a tall animal. Well, there's some animals for us to go learn about. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Yeah, this habitat looks like Alaska or the Pacific Northwest or Canada. <laughs> yeah, and I have some enrichment for this animal. But hey, let me have you guess what animal this habitat is for. Yeah, it's a bear. It's a real big bear. Oh, it's brown. Yeah, it's a grizzly bear. Whoa, that is so crazy. Hey, all right, I got permission that I can spread this food and enrichment out so then the bear can enjoy it. Let's go. Okay, first I have some coffee grounds. See this? Yeah, that's just normal coffee. So if you sprinkle some right here, yeah, maybe the bear will roll in it. The bear loves to roll in coffee. <laughs> okay, how about right here? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, and maybe, uh, maybe some right here. There we go. All right, let's uh, put this right here and we will definitely grab that before we leave. Okay, look at these. These are biscuits. Yeah, this grizzly bear loves these biscuits. So I'll just try and, uh, you know, put some around here. Ooh, there we go. All right, let me throw some to give it a nice pat. Okay, ooh, what is this? Pumpkin pie spice? Yum! <laughs> All right. Let's just sprinkle some of this right around here. All right, I still have some biscuits. Check this out. Yeah, there's a lot of fruits and vegetables in there. Yeah, I love fruits and vegetables. Yeah, like celery with some peanut butter and honey on top. Yum! <laughs> Ooh, looks like we have some grapes. Yum! Ooh, and we have some pears. And we have some carrots. Whoa! And some apples. Whoa! And some watermelon. Yeah, put some biscuits right here on this little island. <laughs> All right, perfect. Ooh, this food smells so good. All right, sprinkle some more pumpkin spice. All righty. And then I'm gonna make it all the way down there to put some more food down there. Wow, this bear is gonna have some Good eating around here. <laughs> hey, and now let me get my container and then we'll let the bear out so then he can have some yummy snacks. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. There's Kima. Kima is a giant grizzly bear and he is loving those snacks we put out for him. Good job. Let's check him out. Dave is a giraffe. He is so tall. Here you go, Dave. I'm feeding Dave some romaine lettuce. Dave loves lettuce and romaine. Hey, how are you? Whoa, 
check this out. Dave is using his tongue, kind of like a hand, to grab his food to pull it up into his mouth. Wow, Dave is so cool. <laughs> Here you go, Dave. All right. Okay, see you later, Dave. I have more animals to go visit. Let's go. Gorilla Habitat. Whoa, look at her. She is so cute. Whoa. Yeah, they're throwing some enrichment out. So then the gorillas have some snacks. I love snacks. All these gorillas here, the group is actually called a troop. Whoa, group rhymes with troop. <laughs> wow, all of these gorillas are actually females, except for two. Did you see the big one? Yeah, with the silver back? Yeah, that gorilla is the head honcho of this troop, and that is a silver back. And all of these gorillas are western lowland gorillas. Whoa! And there's also a second male. It's the little baby. Oh, so cute. <laughs> all right, let's watch him eat some food. Check it out. Yeah, these are garden fruit chafers. It's a type of beetle. Do you see what kind of food they're eating? Whoa. Yeah, looks like bananas. Yum. I like bananas too. Whoa. Look at where I'm at. I'm at Bug World Lab. Yeah, this is where all the bugs hang out and eat and sleep. Yeah, this is where they primarily live. Whoa. Looks like a lot of tarantulas up there. Whoa! And down here, a stick insect. A New Guinea stick insect. Whoa! That is so crazy! Wow, there are so many different types of bugs and insects back here. Whoa! Even more, oh, spiders. Ooh, and a venomous spider. We definitely don't want to open that one up. But hey, maybe if we go in the other room, they'll bring out some bugs for us to see up close and personal. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, this is a jungle nymph. Wow, what color is she? Yeah, yeah, she is the color green. I actually knew it was a she, because the males are brown and she is green. Yeah, do you see how she looks like a leaf? Yeah, she looks like a green leaf, but if it was a guy, he would look like a brown leaf. <laughs> wow, jungle nymphs are the heaviest insects in the world. Yeah, she's not even full grown yet and look how big she is. Whoa! Looks like she's just doing some stretches. <laughs> That's so silly. Wow, she is so cool looking. Whoa. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this looks like a spider. Whoa, it is such a big spider. This is actually a Chilean rose hair tarantula. Whoa, hello! I used to be really afraid of spiders, but not anymore. This one's actually really nice. Yeah, if I let it crawl on me, it wouldn't even bite me. This one is very nice and it looks really hairy. Look at her. Oh, 
Yeah, this is actually a female. Whoa, and she is about 17 years old. Wow, what a cute little insect. Well, not little. <laughs> so big. <laughs> Whoa, what are these? These are flamboyant flower beetles. Wow, and they're so shiny. Yeah, the two colors that I see on them are green and yellow. Oh, and their little horns, the males, yeah, they have horns. It looks like it's the color red, orangish. Whoa, they're just hanging out on this log. They love to eat fallen fruit. Yum, I love fruit too. <laughs> wow, check it out. I have some crustaceans on this piece of plexiglass. <laughs> yeah, these are perchula snails. Wow, they are so cute. Do you see how they have little hard shells? Yeah, that helps protect them. Wow, they're from the location of Tahiti. Wow, I love Tahiti. It's so sunny and beautiful there. <laughs> well, actually, there's none of these left in the wild. They're only in zoos, captivity. And we're actually trying to put them back out into their normal habitats. For now, we can just observe them and watch them eat their food. <laughs> Hello. Wasn't that fun learning about animals today at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington? Yeah, it sure was. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'm going to go learn more about animals. Here I go.